right, hello everybody, I hope you are well. My name is Robbie. Today I'm going to take my little plein air sketch kit outside and I'm going to do a outdoor painting and record the whole process for the first time and hopefully put it together in a video and show you a little bit of my process and how I work. Now today is a typical grey, dull English day, you know. It's a little bit chilly as they say and there's no rain so it's perfect to go out there and paint. So I'm going to put my stuff together, pack it away, go for a walk and I hope you enjoy the video. In this video I'm going to talk a bit about sketching outdoors which is an invaluable and important practice for artists. This video recording is my first attempt at filming myself painting from life outdoors. So please excuse the positioning of my sketchbook in the footage. I was holding it with my other hand and with my paint mixing and cleaning the brushes throughout the process the camera got a bit shaky and a little bit out of focus and off center. What I'd really like to talk about is the whole process of just bringing yourself outside, away from your little bubble as an artist, getting out of your comfort zone, going outside, even if it's alone, and sketching the environment wherever you are. No matter the weather, could be raining, freezing cold, snow, wind, the experience of getting outside and sketching really is just incredible. It's, it gives you so much as an artist and you know that you're pushing yourself. It's a challenge every time that you go out to do this. You, it's almost, I think, similar to people who want to get physically fit and they join a gym membership and they commit early on to go to a gym because they know that they want to exercise and work on their body, improve their general fitness. But each time they go to a gym or think about going to a gym, if it's not a habit, if it's not something they have really committed to and it's some, you know, something they don't have to uh, think about too much, they can just do it automatically because they've done it that much. You can just talk yourself out from doing that very thing, going to the gym and exercising and working on yourself. The same thing applies to artists who want to go and do something that pushes them out of their comfort zone. And one of those things is going by yourself and exposing yourself to the public, all of the conditions that change any second, any minute. There's going to be a million reasons why you will tell yourself that you don't want to go out and sketch outside. Maybe it's too cold, you know, or it's raining. Um, there's a million excuses. But at the end of the day, there's always an advantage to each situation. So even if it's raining, um, if you're the kind of artist who doesn't want to be seen, who just wants to, you know, secretly draw and paint and hope nobody ever sees you and just get on with it without any distraction that's totally fine I know people walking bus can be very distracting and you know even if you're in a shared studio you've got to have quite a good mentality just to continue focusing on your work when you need to when you're surrounded by distracting things but even in a situation where um, it's raining outside for example a lot of people who are outside, then they're not going to be interested in what you're doing. 
they're, they're too busy trying to get from A to B. That they don't, you know, probably chances are they're not happy with the weather and they're not in the best mood and they're running around and really they're not going to be that interested in people standing around the streets or sitting down doing their own thing. They, they might glance at you, have a look, but they're not going to stop and ask you a million questions. So really you've got nothing to worry about. And you can just position yourself according to the climate and adjust where you're going to sketch from. And of course, you know, you can just put on extra clothes if it's cold. Right now I'm in England, it's the middle of winter. It's not that bad, but it's still a little bit cold. And all you have to really do is just throw on a couple of extra layers. You don't need to talk yourself out of do doing something just because of the climate and the weather. So for all you artists out there who hesitate about sketching outside, you might not feel good enough yet as an artist, you want to improve your skills before you try, you might be a specific medium that you're not really proficient in yet, all I'll say to you is just go out there with the simple sketchbook. All you need is a sketchbook. You don't need to bring out oil paints if you're not familiar with, or acrylics or watercolors. Just take your sketchbook out, simple sketchbook, and you could even just use one pencil. And you can just go out there, wherever you are, and sketch your surroundings. You can sketch rocks, you can sketch trees, you can sketch plants, people walking around in public, anything. All of it is, is really, really good practice. And it gets you into a pattern of pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and doing things that challenge you as an artist. And really, when you do these things, you, you there's a level of concentration and focus, I think, that is quite different to you being locked up in your studio all the time. And I think it's really beneficial overall for you to take part in this kind of practice so just grab your sketchbook and head out the door doesn't matter where you go you can choose a different place every day and um, just go with it now for this um, particular little sketch that I did uh, this is in my hometown in Brighton England and this is in a park called St Anne's World Park in Hove this is a little park that I spent a lot of my childhood in when I used to live in the Hove area and have quite nice memories from being there. It's a really nice little quiet park where people just go there and walk their dogs. I live in the centre of Brighton which is a little bit more frantic so it's nice to just go for a walk to another part of the city and just sketch from there. In this sketch I sketched with um, watercolour and gouache. I've got a little kit uh, that I bought from Australia. It's basically white gouache I used to make the watercolour paint opaque and thick and I'm only using a limited palette at the moment and this is forcing me to really try to fight to find specific colours uh, in the scene that I'm looking at. Now, it was quite overcast uh, on this day, typical grey day in England, so I was able to match, I think, a lot of the colours I was seeing with the limited palette. This is a really good exercise to, for especially for beginner artists, and it's always good for, I think, professionals to go back and practice in from time to time. I think John Singer Sargent did this on occasions. He would clearly use a limited palette for some of his work, but it's such a great practice because you are really pushing yourself to find combinations which would be a lot more easily accessible with the full palette available with the convenience of that but you don't need it at the end of the day. I started off the sketch with um, a Prismacolor red pencil, coloured pencil and I just blocked in the shapes. First I made like a mental note of the composition. What is it that I'm trying, you know, I want to get into the, the sketch or the painting what is the main point of it, where do I want to lead the viewer and uh, I sat in this position actually it was quite an awkward position because I had to twist my body in order to see what I was looking at and paint because there wasn't anywhere to really properly sit and put, position my camera. 
Um, but I saw this little spot in between these trees where there was a bit of light. It almost looked like it was glowing light through these trees. And I just wanted to capture that with the path leading up to it. So I just made like a quick um, prism colour pencil sketch, blocking it all in. And after that I use a, a water spray just to wet the paper. It's a thick watercolour paper. And then I start to block in the dark, medium to dark shapes. Now I finished this painting and it's, it's definitely not my best work, but it is something that I have recorded. It's something I managed to capture something of being in that place and it's something I can look back on. And whenever I do from, you know, previous experience, when you do a kind of sketch or painting from life, you, when you look back on it in the future, you will remember so many things about that moment that you, you know, the smells, the sounds, the people, the con even the conversations of people walking past, there's so much that you remember and it's totally different from being in a place and taking a photo and looking back on a picture because you are in this moment of concentration and being totally present with what you're doing for a period of time where you're so focused and there's something really quite special about that and I think this is really another reason why getting outside and sketching and painting in whatever medium, whatever way you want is a great experience for artists. So that's it for this video. If you'd like to see more of me painting from life outside or sketching and me explaining a bit about my process and where I am and everything else, please let me know in the comments below. And apart from that, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and I will see you next time. Subscribe.